Hey folks, what's going on? Um, it is Thursday the 20th of November and um, thank you Christophe Ramuz for um, sharing your thoughts on uh, Murphy. I'm glad that you're pleased with the pressing. Um, thank you and good to see you Christophe. You know, again, Christophe in Switzerland, DJ, amazing collection. It's also cool that I see you got VCLT from Fred. I haven't checked in with Fred in a long time. I should catch up. But uh, something you showed uh, was by another VC member who um, also puts out records. And I think that's wonderful that um, so many people are sharing their art and music with others in the in the VC. <coughs> it makes sense that uh, VC, VC members are artists and musicians, that a lot of them are working and... Uh, working musicians to the person that wanted to know how much it costs to make a record I wanted to add that I just gave you the basic manufacturing costs because um, I can't afford to go to a, a studio or have my al album mastered by anyone I have to do all that myself um, those costs just you put everything up in the tens of thousands quickly but because I uh, master my records myself um, engineer them. I have a friend who helps me with the artwork, with the layout and stuff. Um, you know, I do all that and he helps me for free. Otherwise, those would be a whole lot more costs involved with making records. Uh, records are not cheap and it is a love affair that I have with them, as you can see, you know. Um, has it diminished with time a little bit, but not too much, you know. You know, I'm, I'll be 60 um, in a few months and um, mortality is on my mind a little bit but at the same time I live in the moment and for the moment it still entertains me enough you know what I'm saying I'm not over here lonely thinking it's time to settle down and get a woman no I'm not thinking that not at all mm -mm. Uh, so yesterday was a significant music day um, it was the 40th anniversary of the release of Genesis's Lamb Lies Down on Broadway this is my copy I used to have an American copy and then uh, for a while I had a UK copy which got damaged so I got rid of it of course now I wish I'd kept it this album came along at a time in my life when I really needed it I was um, just out of high school a few years out of high school young man in my 20s confused a lot of confusion about the world and about my own identity and this album really helped even though the story is confusing it wasn't about the narrative of the story in relation to rail it was how the story fit my needs as a person and this album really saw me through a lot of it's hard to say but some major life changes in my thinking occurred around absorbing this album uh, this is just a very, very special album in my life. Bravo to Genesis. I can understand how someone can hear this for the first time and say, well, I don't think that's very good, and I can accept that. Monumental album for me. Don't have any new albums to show you that I've bought, because I haven't bought any. I was listening to some music last night, Miroslav Vitus, Infinite Search. <coughs> this also came out later on Atlantic Records with a different cover and title called Mountain in the Clouds. This is a white label promo which I'm really happy I found ages ago. This is one of my favorite jazz albums. Freedom Jazz Dance, Mountain in the Clouds, I Will Tell Him on You. I can hit play these over and over and over again and uh, have memorized the solos, the different solos on the songs. I just like it so much. It's one of those albums where when you put it on, when I put it on, it creates an immediate amb ambience that I can not only feel, but I can <coughs> practically see in a really good way. Wonderful album. Um... Some, some thoughts, because again, um, 
I'm a neurotic person and I think wait I think a lot so um, I'll apologize again for not taking too much time lately watching other BC videos um, I go through cycles and uh, I plan to catch I plan to do some watching soon I watched a, a little bit of Kristoff's because he talked about Murphy yeah I want to know what you think about Murphy yeah, am I self-centered yeah just like you how's that yeah we're all self-centered yeah I want to know what people are saying about my record some other things on my mind did I want to try to get out because I forget a lot I'll want to say things but there's so much on current events regarding uh, Bill Cosby Bill Cosby comes to mind right away because throughout my adult life I've been in, I've been compared to Bill Cosby a lot and I've not I've, I've never really liked it okay it's like um, there are a lot of people in this world and just because Bill Cosby is a famous black man who I don't know what it is you know but I don't see Bill Cosby in me okay what I'd like to say is that you know from my perspective you don't get as far as Bill Cosby did in the business without having another side without being able to you have to be pretty I, my experience is that in order to make it in the dog eat dog world of big money you've got to be ruthless and there's there's darkness there and whatever Bill has done in the past it's coming to bite him in the ass for a reason now and I wouldn't be surprised if it's someone's agenda you know I'm not saying I'd I don't know what Bill's done it wouldn't surprise me okay this whole idea again of people wanting to believe in illusions and fantasies about public figures people public figures are still people we all have a dark side we all have things that we're capable of that if others knew about they wouldn't like so what am I I'm saying that Bill Cosby is human is it possible that he did what he did well sure um, do I think it's all right no but it's like why is it why now what's the agenda what's the purpose you know who in the satanic uh, elite did he piss off that now that he's got to pay his feet are being put to the fire that's how it looks to me okay because it all seems so corrupt to me so sinister and corrupt big money big entertainment big anything they all look like sinister motherfuckers to me every last one of them so Bill Cosby this is this is the uh, you said you know you you signed on with the devil it's the devil chomp chomped in your ass you didn't get away I don't know that any of this is true but I I, I do know it's true that's why I'm sitting here poor as fuck making these records like I do talking to you like this because I don't want that I just I like records I like making music I'm not interested in power and um, uh, all that negative energy so much negative energy surrounding power and money very negative one of the things I keep saying on my Facebook page for the last couple days is there's enough food for everyone because there is there's enough housing for everyone because there is why are we okay with greed why do we look up to people who are greedy and who are screwing us and destroying our lives why why do we continue to accept the uh, the illusion I just have to just say something every now and then it just bugs the fuck out of me it does it really does there were other things you know oh you know it's like well just right quick on the political thing here it's like so we had the elections and here we are it's like what is wrong with what is wrong with this world you know politics are are shameful hurtful bad for us and destroying us and I want to say it like this you know you can share your opinion with me but I've told you mine and this is what I think and if what you think is different from me well that's fine you can tell me what you think but I don't see it I just told you what I see I see politics as as horrid horrid and uh, self-serving and 
the people that are playing politics are not to be trusted and then they're, they're not doing anything for the benefit of mankind it's all for self who knows what it's really for these are things that that stay on my mind you know that east the, the polar vortex you know uh whether it's global warming or a new ice age or if it's harp you know something's up played this last night matching matching mole's little red record band led by robert wyatt who is about to turn what 79 or 80 everybody's getting old you know the the the, the clock continues to march on but this is a fantastic album of rock jazz progression whatever eno and robert fripper involved this is a monster album another monster album daedalus from italy um instrumental jazz rock uh here everything from etc to mahavishnu to john luke ponty um in the sound of this band daedalus i forget who gave this to me but this is a fantastic album reissue i'm glad to have it in the collection i had gotten this with the um library music albums a while back a stefan grappelli library music album i finally played it grappelli plays grappelli wonderful album such a nuanced player the man had so much feeling in his music so much feeling so <clears throat> you know as i was laying in bed this morning deciding to get up i had a bunch of other things on my mind mostly it was about cosmic but it was some other things you know politics of course always you know this whole you know uh, again it's it's pointless to say anything but i must say it it's like obama is 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 a horrid horrid president horrid 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 president horrid there's nothing to be proud about him being having brown skin you know he's just a corporate puppet so rather than going on for 20 minutes here I'm grasping at what was the other thing that was on my mind you know it's something that's in the back of my mind a lot it's related to what I've been, just said it'll come back to me well you know maybe it's just really not something that it will make any difference whether I say anything but it's just in my mind a lot mm. so well I'm gonna just gonna I'm gonna leave it there for now you know I've shared a little bit of music a few of my thoughts I'm looking around for clues as to what else I was thinking of and it's not coming because it's just you know it's something that's on my mind all the time human it's about the human condition you know you know I would probably just muse more on how interesting it is that people are more interested in feeding an illusion than focusing on what's real and trying to fix it and that's why we're in such a <laughs> that's why the world as a collective is in such a dilemma seems to me <clears throat>